Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. Today we're going to do a pick a card for how can you protect yourself. This was a request from one of my subscribers. So thank you so much for the suggestion. Three piles today. Choose a number, pile one, pile two, or pile three. How can you protect yourself? Take a deep breath. Choose the number that you see in your mind's eye. Close your eyes. What number do you see? That is the pile for you. So pile one, pile two, and pile three. If you can't decide, you may have more than one pile, which has different messages for all of you because it is a general reading for everyone who's watching. This is timeless. Take what resonates. We're going to get started with pile number one. I'm going to move these piles to the side for now. Pile one, how can you protect yourself? You have the six of pentacles. You guys are very gifted and you can speak to your spiritual team. However, you need to leave an offering is what I'm getting with the six of pentacles. Some of you guys may work with... Um, energies that are spirits is what i'm getting and they want an offering so that they can help you six of pentacles taurus Virgo, capricorn energy but i'm getting um you need to give them offerings maybe you are not doing this and if you are doing it 111 trust your intuition definitely do so you may give them offerings based on what you feel is the right thing to do it may not always be what you read in a book or find online um, you may very well do this, but I feel like there is an additional offering that is going to come from your heart, from your intuition, which is more personal. So I can't tell you specifically what it is. Only you will know what that is. But that offering needs to be given in order for you to be able to protect yourself. So it's like you may have all of these things that you've already done, but there's one particular um, type of a offering that will only come from your intuition here. Okay. How can you protect yourself? You have hearth, happiness, and our hearts and homes. You can protect yourself by baking sweets and leaving offerings of food to your ancestors. Candle work, working with fire, the flame. You may be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you're dealing with one. I don't see this as a negative, though. I really see this as some type of a... Um, I said in my previous reading, you guys had like a poppet or a servitor or some type of like a figure, a statue that you have asked to protect you from your enemies. It's like you have like a gargoyle, some type of spiritual energy here, spirit animal that's out of the norm and it watches and it protects and it guards you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's, oh I heard that's what I'm saying. Okay, thank you. Um, I was going to say that's what I'm seeing, but it's like, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to tell her that. So it's like, if you guys were like wondering, like, should I get this statue for protection? Yes. Do you, if you have it, is it working? Yes. It protects your home to ensure your happiness. So you guys may definitely connect with um, spiritual energies. I don't know why I heard like more of like darker, um, darker magic, but not in a negative way. I just feel like you guys have this like witchy vampire-ish Lilith type of vibe like not that you're not energy vampire no that's not what I'm getting you guys are more like goth or more into like darker like you guys like to wear black or you may have uh, makeup that's very um intense or it's very like whoa like dark red lips or you put on the dark eyeshadow. I don't know. Like you guys just are very bold, but that's because that's how you are. So you guys may be very strong witches. Like I'm hearing the left hand path or the right hand path. You guys are more left hand path, but it's almost like you don't want to harm people. You are just protecting yourself so you can connect to that type of more of a, a darker energy, but it's not bad. It's more just, it's like it has been identified by society as evil, but it's not is what I'm getting because you are just connected with invisibility and authenticity. You definitely have protection spirits. If you guys are psychic mediums, the spirits that you've prayed for are here. I'm also getting you have a spirit guide. If you're connected to goddess Hecate, um, her spirits of protection are around you, upon you and always protecting and guiding you. Okay. So that is how you can protect yourself, pile one. Let me know if that resonates. If you don't feel like this is for you, then choose a different pile. But this is the message that I was getting from pile one. So please like and subscribe. If you have this um, gargoyle servitor statue, leave them an offering is what I'm getting. Um, because it's almost like this um, energy of protection is watching you give offerings to everyone. But they're waiting like, when am I going to get my offering? You know, so leave them an offering, cake, sweets, candy, coins, a candle, incense with the fire. It's like they want an offering too because they are definitely protecting you. And this is a spiritual protection here because it, it's here. The spirit of protection is upon the servitor 444 or the spirit of protection is just around you on top of this. You guys have a lot of protection energies. It's just a matter of you wanting to reach out and give the offering and then they will come through and protect you, okay? That's what I have for you, pal one. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.
We're going to get into pile number two. Okay, pile two, if you chose this pile, this is your reading. How can you protect yourself from your enemies? You have the two of wands, definitely the crossroads type of energy, um, Papa Legba, anything that is associated with the crossroads. Hecate, I'm also getting, okay, with the death card, Santa Muerte wants you to visit her at the crossroads. The eternal cycle of life begins here. Yeah, you guys are definitely devotees of Santa Muerte. She wants you to go to the crossroads and leave something. I heard garlic, which is, um, well, it's here. But garlic is also goddess Hecate, but I'm really getting um, Santa Muerte with the death card. Like, this is her card. She is death, Scorpio energy. So La Santísima Muerte is here. Thank you for your presence. And with eternal love, love is love is love, and it transcends physical death. She wants you to leave something at the crossroads, 555, angel number, in order for the change to begin for your healing. I'm also getting, she is allowing your ancestors to come through and give you strength. It's funny because twos could be significant, so you might be seeing 222. Two, two. I'm also getting she is protecting your twin flame. So leave her an offering at the crossroads that represents the energy of love. You will know what that is. I'm hearing you need to bury it. Don't just throw it, bury it at the crossroads where it is safe. This will enhance the bond between you and Santa Muerte as well as allow you to blossom and grow with your blessing with your love life. If someone is trying to interfere, intervene in your true divine counterpart, Santa Muerte is here to make sure that your true divine counterpart and you are protected. I'm hearing for all eternity. So it's like twin flame. You guys are reincarnated. You're back in this lifetime, but this time it's going to be successful. But what do you need to do? You need to go to the crossroads. Maybe you left garlic or other offerings before, but he's got this thing that's digging into the earth. And even here, it's under the earth, underground. So leave that offering with the heart around it of love towards her because she says love is love is love. So that's three by the power of three. I hear God is Hecate, I call on thee. But Santa Muerte is also the crossroads because she represents life and death, a rebirth, a cyclical change, right? But then with the three, it's like you, your twin flame, and the power of three, Santa Muerte. So it's like that whole bond of protection, bury it under the earth is what I'm getting at a crossroads. That's how you can protect yourself, pile two. Anything else? The angel of protection is upon you as well. You've already made a decision. Some of you have already done this because I put the two of wands upside down. You did it on the full moon. I'm hearing Bruno Mars talking to the moon, trying to get to you in hopes you're on the other side, talking to me too. Someone loves you, pile two, and you love them. They're going through something, but you will help them heal. Santa Muerte will help you and your person. And the, the message, leave the, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting the messages, leave the offering. I'm hearing, deja la ofrenda que estás esperando, hija mía. Esto es para ti. Tú ya sabes lo que tienes que hacer. Leave the offering. This blessing is yours. You know what to do. Trust your intuition. Memento Mori, remember me in death. I'm hearing you are death, death is within you, but death is only the beginning. The bringer of death to those who harm you. Leave thy offering, but buried it, buried it, you buried it in the soil or you need to bury it in the soil. Okay, all right, so that's what I have for you. At night, you will do this, or in early dawn, in the morning. You guys are brave <laughs> if you go between the hours of 2 and 3. But this is for protection. This is not to harm. If someone's doing this to harm you, it's not going to work. She's protecting you. Look at that. She's here. Santa Muerte. You may feel her. When you go, you're going to hear like a Skype, like a, like a weird like knife sound, or you're going to feel her cold presence around you, or you may literally feel her touch your back. You're going to feel like someone's next to you and you're going to be like, oh my God, or you're going to hear someone walking and there's nobody there. That's her because she's with you. She's guiding you. She's protecting you. And she loves you, pile too. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Much love to you always. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to get into pile number three. 
Okay, pile three, if you chose this pile, how can you protect yourself from your enemies? With the Eight of Pentacles, you have already started some type of spiritual work to claim back your energy, calling your solar plexus. You guys ring bells of protection. You are also manifesting and creating something that will bring you a lot of success and stability. You guys are doing burning bowl rituals. You're sending petitions over to the Most High. Your work has already been started. Pile three, I feel like you guys already know how to protect yourself. You just wanted confirmation. It's only a matter of time. I'm hearing things are already changing in your favor. With the skull of flowers creating through the ashes. Yeah, you guys are like the phoenix rising. You've already connected. Your third eye is heavily open. You guys already know how to protect yourself. You just wanted a reading for confirmation. Some of you guys are definitely connected to your ancestors and past loved ones that are all here protecting you in spirit. With protection and jack-o'-lantern, you definitely are already protected, pile three. Um, some of you, I'm hearing a Mother Mary or a Mary Magdalene. I'm hearing Lilith. I'm hearing Virgin Mary. La Virgen de Guadalupe. Your grandma, your grandparents, your ancestors are protecting you. Some of you guys have a facial feature that your ancestor, your grandma, grandpa has. And you have that too, 1111, because they're a part of you and you are intuitive. You may see 1111 or the number 8. You have infinite wisdom. This is being passed down to you as a child. It is part of your bloodline. It is in you. Yeah, with the graveyard, unnecessary fear. I'm also getting very, very specific side message. Only do this if you feel guided to. And if you are doing this respectfully, I feel like some of you guys may have some graveyard dirt from your past loved one. And you need to ask for permission and leave an offering of gratitude. I heard the three coins only if you are instructed to do so. But do not tamper or disturb any other i heard do not bother the dead because then you will suffer the wrath i keep hearing mary magdalene or maybe your name is mary or magdalene or you like mary magdalene as above so below do not be afraid your ancestors are here if you asked your past loved one already to do this like protection for you and there's like graveyard dirt that you put on your altar or you did something. But this is more as a blessing, not to harm. This is for protection, to honor them. They are grateful. If someone did work to harm you, your ancestor is protecting you. If someone did graveyard magic to kill you, you have nothing to fear because your ancestors are already protecting you. That's another side message. I really feel like your ancestors are just saying, thank you for visiting me. Thank you for leaving me offerings. Thank you for bringing ancestor money. If you took graveyard dirt so that you can connect with me intuitively, we are protecting you. You don't need to be afraid of us because we are here and we are part of you and we're always with you in spirit, okay? If you guys have skulls or flowers, that was heavily appreciated. If you honored them on the day of the dead, they appreciate all of the hard work that you've done. And because you've honored the dead and you respect them, and you genuinely care about them, 1313, 13, there is a significant change in your favor. You are protected always, okay? So that's what I have for you, Pile 3. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Comment below if you found this helpful. I feel like there's another message here for you. Hold on. Mm -hmm. You guys need to write. You guys have the gift of automatic writing. Don't stop writing. I heard that song from um, Journey. It's like, don't stop believing. It's only a matter of time before something that you're working on takes off and gives you a lot of abundance. Don't stop. Don't give up. Keep going. You're very beautiful. People are jealous of you because you have a lot of beautiful sexual energy, divine feminine, divine masculine. You guys are glowing. You're blossoming. Lots of sacral chakra and solar plexus here. You guys are daughters of Venus or Freya, but I'm getting more Venusian, Taurus, Libra energy. You guys could have Earth placements or Libra energy upon you. But I feel like when you talk to your ancestors, they hear you and they're here to protect you. The portal is open. The great work that you've done. Keep ringing the bell. Keep lighting your candles. Keep cleansing your space. Keep connecting through flowers and offerings there with you. Your solar plexus is being cleansed. Okay? You are protected. Mm, I just smelled pumpkin. Someone likes to bake. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> mm, you guys are making me hungry. But anyways, um, I'm also hearing someone is hungry for you. Wow, you guys are, <laughs> you guys are gorgeous and sexy. Um, 
but it's like the energy of sexiness. It's like you manifest through your, you're alive, you're creative, you're beautiful, you're very attractive, but it's because you have this sexual appeal because you are witchy, you're magical. Um, bake foods is what I'm getting or buy baked foods or eat the food with an intention of protection and that's their cinnamon is important or hot chocolate with um, cinnamon and mushrooms. Why do I say mushrooms? Marshmallows. <laughs> I don't know why I said mushrooms. Well, I hope you guys aren't doing that. I mean, maybe you are. I don't know. Like, no judgment here, but I did see that for someone, not for everybody. Um, whatever you guys are creating, like um, kitchen witches is what I'm getting. Your kitchen witch, whatever you put together, that's a form of protection. It works. And your ancestors guide you through that as well. All right, so that's what I have for you. I send you any blessings. Don't forget to write down your recipes and to note down what works and what doesn't work because that's going to be important for you and your future um, family or whoever you pass that information down to. You need to write it down because it's very historically important for future generations to come, okay? So that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. I send you many blessings and have a great day or night. Bye.